For our lesson seven, we're going to be solving word problems involving metric units. Make sure you write down all of your notes. So make sure you write this down. Malachi rode his bike 268 meters to his friend's house. So we have 268 meters. He then rode his, um, his bike one half of a kilometer to a park. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters, right? So you're just going to divide by two to get a half because fractions are really division. How many twos are in 10? Five, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many twos are in zero? Zero, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many twos are in zero? Zero, multiply, subtract. So half a kilometer is equal to 500 meters, right? So he then rode his bike half a kilometer to his friend's bike. House. How many total meters did he ride? So we're going to do eight and zero, six and zero, two and five. So we have 768 meters. All right, yesterday I ran less than five kilometers. We have five kilometers. Remember one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So five kilometers is equal to 5,000 meters. But I ran more than 1,200 meters. How far could I have run? So I need a number that's between the two of these. So it could be 3,000 meters. It also could be 2,000 meters. Because 3,000 meters and 2,000 meters is in between these two numbers. Next problem. If you need to pause to write, please do that. A box containing four identical books weighs five kilograms. So you have a box and four books is equal to five kilograms. Remember, we just did five kilograms is equal to 5,000 grams. If the weight of the box is 600 grams, so now they're telling us the box is 600 grams plus four books is equal to 5,000 Grams. They want to know the weight of each book. All right. So first, we're going to get this 600 from this 5,000. So we're going to subtract on both sides. Remember, 600 minus 600 becomes nothing. We have to regroup here. So we have six from 10 is four. We've got four. So I know that the four books is equal to 4,400 grams. But what I really need to know is how much is each book. So each book weighs something. So we're going to divide to find out how much one book would weigh. How many fours are in four? One, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many fours are in four? One, multiply, subtract, need more space. Bring down the zero. How many fours are in zero? Zero. Multiply, subtract, bring down. How many fours are in zero? Zero. Subtract, bring down. So each book weighs 1,100 grams. All right, this is the last one I'm going to do. I bought, um, I don't want to do that one. Tina went to the store to buy three liters of orange juice for a party. So I have three liters of orange juice. The store only sold orange juice in 250 milliliters cartons. So the question is how many 250 milliliter cartons does she need to buy? Well we know that one liter is equal to 3,000 milliliters, right? Because milli means a thousand. So we need how many groups of 250 will get me to three liters? So I know that if I did 250 times 4, I would get 1,000, right? Think quarters. 25 times 4 is like a dollar, right? So 1,000. So we know that if there's four groups of 250, we get 1,000. Well, we need 3,000. So we need two more groups of 4. So 4, 4, and 4 is 12. To check what we could do is we could do 12 times 2,000 or 250, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our basic fact triangle or zeros, right? 
So 250 or 25 times 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1, drop the 0. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Remember to drop that 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 1 is 3. 1, 2, 3. Chop, chop, chop. So actually this should be a 2. 2 times 1 is 2. That would make this a 3. Sorry about that, guys. So we see that we have 3,000 milliliters, which is the same as 3 liters. For your homework tonight, I need you to answer the following questions in complete sentences. Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.